through the trees, has come through and fended them off in a driving finish to beat Roy Stingray. Good improvement. Absolutely, yeah. Um, she ran a nice race the other week at Scottsville. Four lengths, four lengths off them behind the boys in a mixed race. And um, Mark gave us some nice feedback, which I always enjoy about him. And yeah, she's just starting to find herself again. You know, she won her maiden, and then she just lost her way a bit. Um, I felt there was a few factors involved. There was a bit of virus hanging around uh, Ashburton. Then the winter came, she threw a coat, she went a bit off. So I've just backed off her a little bit and slowly uh, built her up again. Well done. Thanks so much. Just very well done to all these, all these connections. We had a change of colours this morning into the Step Aside Syndicate. There's a, f a good few of the boys in the Syndicate involved in this fully as well. A lot of my loyal supporters in here, they've been with me since the beginning and before. So yeah, just well done to all of them. Just glad things, the stable's turning over nicely. Well done. And, and obviously a, a great ride by Mark Khan. I thought he was at his best today. Super. Thank you. Well, we had to catch Mark Khan at his best today. Roy Stingray was in a galloping mood, but you said, I'm going to come and tag her. Yeah, you know, we're always trying. Uh, I just want to compliment Lowen. He turns his horses out in exceptional condition. And as you guys picked the previous winner, the way Doug Campbell turned his out, this filly gave me a good feel going down. I had the luxury of riding her last time. And um, Lowen and I go back a long way to, to his dad, Paul. And um, it's just nice to work with somebody that understands his horses. And as I say, for the small string he's got, he does an exceptionally good job. And this filly dug down tenaciously. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Let's get the winning connections. They're going to come through. Brett Van Lawn, we've got the owners on course. Nice exactor. Lovely exactor. Uh, well done. Great ride from Mark. And also, I must say, he gives us great feedback. He sends a great voice note after each ride. And that feedback helps uh, with the other filly, Eternal Words, as well. Gave us feedback what to do, change concussion pads. Very professional, and it helps a lot. Well done. Thanks very much. Well, that's a wrap for now. Stand by. There's going to be the presentation to Lyle Hewitson. Welcome back to the winner's enclosure here at Hollywood Betts Gravel. Perhaps not quite as busy as it was on Elan Gold Cup Day, but as you all know, we had to pend the award that Gold Circle makes annually for the champion jockey. We did present champion trainer Sean Terry with his very special award on Saturday, but it was all still very much up in the air as far as the jockey's championship is concerned. But now the scrap is over, it's done and dusted, you're home and hosed, if only narrowly. Lal, well done. Thank you very much. Um, I'm so fortunate and, and blessed to be in this position. Um, just thank you to everyone, you know, it's been a, a wonderful ride and the season, you know, starting off late, uh, we, we got back onto things very quickly and um, the support I've received has been uh, I, and, and you know, and for, I can't even unbelievable. think of the, unbelievable. I can't even think of the words. I'm lost for words. You know, so yeah. Just thank you very much to everyone and um, to to Sean Terry, to Yvette, to all the yards. You know, I've had so much support. Thanks to them. Well, you're going to be jetting out to Hong Kong off the back of back-to-back -back championship titles. We were chatting the other day, and you said this one is more special than the previous. Yes, you know, obviously your first title is, is a big thing, and you know, um, it'll never. I'll never forget that, but you know I do feel that uh, you know Anthony had that you know one in his pocket, and you know I, I was there to pick it up. And you know what? I think to to run second to him would have been a great achievement, and to pick up the pieces from a champion like himself was was fantastic. But this season, coming off um, of a two-month layoff with injury, and um, being being able to get you, I think that's made it more special. And two on the bounce before I head over to Hong Kong, I think um, th this was a big one, and I'm just so fortunate I've had a m the most amazing season. Now, it's amazing how things work out because coming into the final week, I can't recall at any period of time during the season that you went four consecutive race meetings without a winner. But as fate would have it, 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all without a winner. That must have irked you a little. Yes, of course it did, you know, um, but I think it's a character building situation and as I mentioned in my winning interview earlier, uh, I went back and I watched everyone in the races and I just thought to myself, you know what, you're not doing much wrong. Yeah, you just, the luck's not falling at the moment, but it will turn and I kept pushing on. I, I trusted my ability and um, fortunately I got the support when it mattered most and uh, we got the nose down at the line. Now I notice that you've taken two rides tomorrow for, for the boss. Uh, the new season starts tomorrow, but I looked for your name on Friday, I looked for your name on Saturday, I looked for your name on Sunday, couldn't find it anywhere. So are you taking a a well-deserved break before you jet out on the 11th. Yes, um, unfortunately tomorrow I won't be able to ride. I never renewed my license in time, um, thinking that I'd be, be heading off. Um, but uh, as it happens, you know, I've got time now to, to maybe look at uh, taking a bit of time off and have that holiday and freshen up before heading over to Hong Kong. Well, obviously, we're going to miss you at the Equus Awards, where you'll be officially crowned the South African champion jockey for a second time. But right now, it gives Gold Circle Great pleasure to ask your agent, Dees Darnand, to hand you a very special set of gold cufflinks, which we hope you will wear proudly in Hong Kong. Ladies and gentlemen, the South African champion jockey for the season ended 31 July 2019 is Lyle Hewitson. Um, I just want to say one more thing. Obviously, Dees has been a, a huge help uh, this season, and when he came on board, uh, the first thing he said to me, he says, don't worry about being 40 behind, we're going to get there and we're going to win this championship. And he's been instrumental, so thanks so much to him. And um, last but not least to, to Pippa and the whole of Aventure. Thank you so much for your support throughout the years. Yes, congratulations to Pippa. Well, if Dees had your fighting spirit, he might not have just run fourth in the Racing Masters. He might have got up on the post to defeat Kevin Che, but he faltered in the closing stages, unlike you, Lyle. So well done to Aventure, to Pippa and her team for sponsoring this young man with a, such a bright future. We wish you well, Lyle. I'm sure we're going to watch every single ride that you take in Hong Kong, amongst, of course, Grand Fenikirk and Elder de Mayer, uh, Carice Teton. We well represented there. We wish you well. Go well, Lyle Yurtsen, as he jets off to Hong Kong on the 11th of August.